under the former administration of President Ford, he promulgated a regulation that said, okay, we can have all these health standards, but before you enact a health standard, there has to be an inflationary impact statement. Somewhere, someone will decide on how much your life is worth, worth. Because essentially, an inflationary impact statement says that if it costs too much money, you shouldn't do it. Someone develops this dividing line. When is it cheap enough to do? When is it too expensive? Or how much is your life worth? So we went through this whole hearing on inflationary impact. What did they find? It was a study this thick, but you only have to read one page, the crucial page. And I suggest that that should be a major textbook on occupational health, the inflationary impact report on coke oven workers. Because what it said was precisely this. It's really too expensive to control coke oven emissions. Why? There are 15,000 coke oven workers. The report said it would take an additional 5,000 coke oven workers to control those emissions. We didn't need a major study to arrive at that conclusion. Workers said all the time, they don't maintain the batteries, there aren't sufficient operating personnel, and they certainly have diminished the number of maintenance people. 5,000 additional workers. You could use that rule of thumb for any industrial process. As the process becomes more capital intensive, it becomes more polluting. And the dilemma of Canadian and U.S. society is we're living through a period of stagflation and there's exhortation to increase productivity. Well, you're going to increase it at a tremendous toll of people's lives. 